Welcome to the Friday Gridiron Preview. This week's show is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Boss Ford, proudly serving Liberal and the surrounding area for 35 years. Come visit their newly remodeled showroom and schedule a test drive today. Keating Tractor and Equipment. See MyGreenToy.com for great Christmas and gift ideas. Price and Sons Funeral Home. Our family, proudly serving your family for over 50 years in Western Kansas. Flooring America and Furniture Outlet, 15 East Parkway in Liberal, where quality costs less. Come discuss your project with one of their professionals today. And the Heritage Real Estate Group in Liberal, people you know and trust, professionals you can depend on. Welcome to Friday Gridiron Preview. I am Dr. Jack. This week we're previewing the game between the Garden City Buffaloes and the Liberal Redskins. We're here with the head coach of the Garden City Buffaloes, Brian Hill. Coach, welcome. Thank you very much. Now, Coach, you've been here quite a while, so you know the team that you're going to face pretty well. What makes Liberal, this year's Liberal team a little different than others you faced? Well, they've come in with a lot of confidence being 3-1, and one, and, um, you know, they won a whack game up in uh, Hayes earlier this year, so um, they're very confident, and uh, we know that we've got a very formidable foe at hand. Now, Coach, you're uh, undefeated so far this year, and uh, you've shown some great play both through the air and on the ground. What are some matchups against the Redskins that you're excited to see on the field? Well, I mean, really, we, you know, we go in just – trying to be balanced um, we're going to try to you know move the football on the ground and through the air and um, you know we really kind of wait to dictate you know how the game is played uh, from the defense and what they're trying to take away from us and and then we're trying to exploit other things uh, within their you know within their coverage or front coach what are some uh, who are some players for the Redskins that you're going to key on and that you know you have to control for this contest well, I mean, I think, you know, running the football, uh, you know, their quarterback and tailbacks, you know, they really spread the ball around um, and really been able to make some plays uh, with their legs and been able to make some explosive plays. So, you know, we're really going to have to keep our eye on them and, and make sure we try to, you know, fill our gaps and make sure that we're sound defensively to be able to do that. Now, Coach, with the change in the way that they've done eliminating districts and seeding everyone for the playoffs, um, a game like this where you could – foreseeably maybe even get up pretty high. How much pressure is there on you to kind of run that score up to sh have a better showing for that end of the season seeding? Well, we don't worry about that until, you know, the opportunity presents itself. If, if that's what presents itself later in the game, uh, then that's something that we will determine at that point, whether it's something that we need to continue to try to do or not. But, you know, going into the game, you know, if you just start putting points and things and extra pressure on top of just winning the game, um, I think you're putting a bunch of undue pressure onto yourself. And so that's not something that we go into each game trying to do. Uh, it's more of, you know, let's let's play the game, we'll see where we are, and if we have to make that decision, we'll do that within the game. And Coach, we're kind of in the middle of the season now. Uh, what are some adjustments you've made and how have things kind of settled in for this year's team? Well, the biggest thing we've had to overcome is a bunch of injuries. We've had, um, you know, five or six kids that we've lost, a couple for the entire season, and some we're still waiting on, uh, hopefully, to be able to get back here within the next week or two. So um, that's probably the biggest concern and the biggest adjustment that we've had to make is fill a bunch of holes um, from kids that were starters that have, we have lost through the first four weeks. It's interesting to me, too, as you talk about losing those players, it seems like you just always have the next great athlete to put in that position. How do you or what do you attribute that depth to here in Garden City? Well, number one, we get a lot of kids out. Um, and number two is that we try to make sure that when we are coaching our kids, that we coach everyone as if they're a starter. And it's not, hey, this, we just coach the starter and then the backup has no idea what's going on because we know that every player out there is one play away from, um, you know, being on the field. And so, you know, we try to make sure that we coach every kid. We make sure that we understand um, that we try to get those kids in and get them game reps um, as early in the season as we can, get them on a bunch of special teams so that if it is the first time or if they do have to go into the game, it's not the first time they've been out there. And talking about some of your players, you've brought some with you. So let's have you introduce the first player, give us his position, a little bit about him. All right, the first player I have with me is Zeke Carrera. Um, he is a starting linebacker for us and uh, plays a little bit of tight end. And he, uh, 
um, has been a three-year starter um, at that position and um, is a team captain as well. All right, Zeke, you have a game this week against an opponent you know well. Uh, you've played this game many times before. What excites you about this year's contest with Liberal? Uh, just the confidence that they have. And I didn't get to play them last year because of due to an, an injury. So uh, this is gonna, it's going to be fun because they're, they're a lot more confident than they were last year. So I feel like they give us a lot more. Speaking of confidence, uh, you have a couple pick sixes this year. You're uh, leading the team in tackles. How do you lead the defense? Are you a screamer? Do you say, come do what I do? How do you do that? Yeah, I'd, uh, I just tell them do their job and uh, trust the person next to you and just have fun, have fun enjoying the, the game. And Coach, what does Zeke's leadership mean on, both on the field, in the weight room, and the locker room? Uh, he's, you know, been a staple in our program for four years. You know, we really brought him up uh, as a soft, or as a freshman, played a little bit uh, late his freshman year, and so, you know, the the amount of experience that he has, uh, his teammates understand that, and you know that he's been in in those wars out there, and that when he has something to say to them, they they listen. Hearing your coach brag on you that way and talk about your leadership, what does that do to you as a player uh, and your confidence? Oh, well, I mean, it makes me feel good about myself. I guess uh, just helps me out to keep leading the team, leading the defense. Now, have you uh, kind of looked at this liberal team? Is there anybody in particular you're excited to kind of put the hit on? Just everybody that plays out there, you know? <laughs> Every single one of them. Got to punish the runners and quarterback and just have fun. Coach, I, I think maybe he's repeating what you've said to him. Is that right? Oh, well, a lot of times they end up doing that. But uh, he's pretty truthful in telling you that he's not afraid to run into anybody out there. So, um, you know, that's, that's one of the things that we think that we do here. That's what we feel like is Buffalo brand of football is being physical. Um, it doesn't really matter what the position that you play. We want to be physical. And, you know, that's the nature of the game. And, um, you know, we hope that through four quarters that the, our physicalness will, will help wear down teams in the fourth quarter. All right, Coach, you brought another player with you. Thanks, Zeke, for spending time with us. You brought another player with you, and uh, tell us his name, position, a little bit about him. Uh, his name is Jesse Nunez. He's a quarterback, and he, again, is about a two-and-a-half-year starter at quarterback and um, has, you know, been the leader for us, is also a team captain, and um, has really had a great start to the season here. And Jesse, looking at some of your stats for this year, it seems like you're pretty comfortable throwing the ball as well as running the ball. Uh, how do you how do you gain that kind of confidence? It seems to be so rare at the high school level. Um, I mean, I say just gaining last year's uh, you know confidence by always throwing, and you know having Coach Hill and another quarterback coach that was with me last year. That's something we worked on every day at practice, and so I just try and tell myself to be relaxed and you know have fun and keep my mind off of you know stressing and just having fun. So that's um, I'd say how. So how much does your offensive line contribute to your ability to throw and, and open in holes for you to run? Um, it helps a lot. I mean, there's times where, you know, certain plays wouldn't work. So coach, you know, will change it up even, you know, during, you know, a timeout or something. And, you know, we're able to adjust to it. And so, I mean, that. So what does it feel like on a Friday night for Jesse Nunez to walk out on the field and know that it's kind of up to you to lead the offense and kind of set the tempo? Um, I like it actually. I mean, it helps me stay focused during the whole game to do my job and help the team win. So it's something that I put on myself. Coach, talk a little bit about uh, Jesse's leadership on the field and, and what he means kind of to the overall spirit of your team. Well, I think any time that your quarterback is, you know, considered, a, you know, a real football player and not, you know, someone that is, you know, taken care of in a different way that that he proves his toughness by the way he uh, prepares what he does in the weight room and that you know he proves that he's a football player every Friday night by going out there and um, you know he's not complaining about hits and things that he takes and um, you know he's he's uh, just done a great job for us and you know when he goes we go and and we know that you know defenses have you know tried to come up now and their you know whole scheme is trying to stop him from doing things and it's you know I see that as my job to make sure that I'm doing my best to to find ways that he can still be effective and still get the ball to other guys so that they can be effective as well. Jesse what does this get this particular game against Liberal mean to you? Um, this is the last time you will see them. What does this what does this Friday night mean? Um, and it just means the game to me like every other Friday night. We have to win and try and dominate 
you know, and score as many touchdowns as we can and dominate both sides of the ball. But, I mean, it's like him not playing last year. You know, we kind of got a, a kick return, um, kick return back on us first play. So that's something that, you know, has been making this match since last year. And so, you know, I just, they just say it's different, same, different team, different, same game. All right. Well, Coach, thanks for spending time with us today. Thanks for bringing some of your players along. Good luck this week. All right. Thank you very much for having us. We'll be back right after this. Hi, Chris Jewell, host of High Plains Today, a 30-minute news and information program that airs weekdays at noon right here on TV23. We talk about news, we talk about sports, we talk about weather, we're even going to talk entertainment. We'll have live guests right here on set with me. So, every day at noon, tune in High Plains Today. We'll see you then. Weekdays here on TV23. Welcome to the Friday Gridiron Preview. This week's show is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Boss Ford, proudly serving Liberal and the surrounding area for 35 years. Come visit their newly remodeled showroom and schedule a test drive today. Keating Tractor and Equipment. See MyGreenToy.com for great Christmas and gift ideas. Price and Sons Funeral Home. Our family, proudly serving your family. For over 50 years in western Kansas. Flooring America and Furniture Outlet, 15 East Parkway in Liberal, where quality costs less. Come discuss your project with one of their professionals today. And the Heritage Real Estate Group in Liberal, people you know and trust, professionals you can depend on. Welcome back to Friday Gridiron Preview. I am Dr. Jack and I'm joined with the head football coach from the Liberal Redskins, Caleb Kine. Coach, welcome. Thank you. So you had a big win this last week. You forget that and you move on to a Garden City team. What do you know about Garden and what challenges do they provide for you? Well, obviously Garden City's a, a bigger school. They've got more kids to draw from. They have a very big offensive line, big defensive line, good linebackers, and uh, you know they have more experience right now. But um, our kids are feeling feeling pretty good high right now. They're 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 uh, they're excited. They're they're learning. They're getting better each week. So uh, you know we're just we're just going to try to match up the best we can and and uh, find out who's going to make the best plays. You know, Coach, the uh, story of football in southwestern Kansas and even Oklahoma Panhandle this year seems to be injuries. How are you guys doing health-wise, and are they ready for this contest? Well, we've had two two kids out for the season already. We've got one with a major concussion and the other one with a knee injury. So uh, we're already down two of our starters. But, you know, we've been healthy the last couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, we, we try to take care of them at practice and we try to get them with our trainer as soon as they have a, a bump or a bruise and, and try to get them taken care of as best we can. And, uh, you know, so far we're doing pretty well as far as health. Now, Coach, I know being one of the smarter coaches that we interview that you've spent a lot of time looking at film and looking at what you're facing. What are some matchups with Garden City that you're excited to see develop on the field? Well, I think where I'm excited about our, our line, you know, as far as their defensive line and our offensive line, uh, we, have, we have size, they have size, but it's going to be who has the best technique and the best step. Uh, their D-line's big, and they have a quick defensive end, and, and we're going to find out if, if, our, if our guys can match up well with that as well as far as our tackles. But um, I know their linebackers are very, very salty, and they've got a lot of experience. So our, our young linebackers and our young guards are going to have to do a good job climbing up on them and, and maintaining, their, maintaining their blocks for longer than just a push. So um, it's basically who's going to win the line of scrimmage, and that, that's going to set the tone for the rest of the night. Now, Coach, in addition to that, the, the Buffaloes kind of seem to split things fairly evenly between the passing game and the run game. Um, thinking about that even split, how disciplined do your linebackers and your secondary have to be? Well, you know, Garden City's got a good dual threat quarterback. He can run and throw, so um, you know that that helps things out. The receivers are good, so we have to we have to make sure that that we tr we trust our keys and we man our gaps, and we just we expect our defensive backfield and our, our defensive backs and our outside linebackers to to do their job in coverage as well as is fit on the run when their key tells them to. Now, Coach, this year with the uh, doing away with districts and moving to the seeding process, east and west, uh, a game like this, if you would get up and, and it would be uh, you're kind of opening it up, uh, how much pressure is there to keep your foot on the gas to kind of get that impressive win for the seeding later in the season? 
Well, you know, that, that's that's a secondary thought. That's something you do in, during a game type situation. But, you know, right now the, the goal is to win. And that's that's the, the primary objective. And that's that's whether by one point or 100 points, it really doesn't matter. A win's a win. Um, you know, we had a good, you know, 21 points is all you can, all they give you anyway for seeding. So if you win by 45, it really doesn't help you to win by 45 as long as you're winning by 21. So uh, we're not too worried about seeding. We're more, more or less worried. Just we're going we're gonna to try to win. And that's our game plan right now. And we'll worry about that at game time if that comes around. Now, Coach, you brought some of your players with you, and uh, we'd like to have you introduce each one, then tell us a little bit about them. Yeah, this is Alex Wynn. Our, uh, he's our big guard, nose guard. He's our one of our only seniors that we have. You can come in here close. Uh, you know, Alex, he's a, he's a great player for us. He, uh, he's, he's not real tall, but he, he's, he's all meat and all muscle, and uh, he plays well with the low pad level since it's already low anyway. But he likes to, he likes to strike, and he likes to hunt down players down the field. And uh, defensively, he's, uh, he's a tough guy to block one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, a lot of times he, he declares a double team uh, right away just by, just by his effort and his size and his, and his hard alone. So uh, Alex, you know, last week he played with, uh, with a pretty high fever. Uh, he stepped on the field, played the entire game, and, uh, you know, he showed his heart that he has to be a Redskin. Now, Alex, you're hearing your coach uh, brag on you like this. What does that do to you as a senior playing against Garden City on a Friday night on this big stage? Um, just motivates me, makes me feel like I'm a leader. Um, just makes me want to go out there and just give it all to my teammates. Now, you heard your coach say that uh, really this contest is going to be one up front, uh, offensive line, defensive line. You play on both of those. So what kind of what kind of keys are you looking for, and what is it going to take for you to have a great game? What's going to take for me to have a great game is just it's just mental. It, it comes down to just mental. First guy snaps, loses. So. so are you looking forward to hitting Jesse Nunez? I'm looking forward to hit anybody who gets in my way. <laughs> coach, do you believe that? Oh, he likes to hit. That's no no doubt about that. He uh, he enjoys finding contact, and uh, you know a lot of times it finds him as well. So and he never shies away from it. He's never flinched once. So uh, very proud of him and what he's what he's set for those younger guys to follow. And you know he's in a good example for us. All right, coach, you brought another player with you. Let's have you introduce him and uh, and tell his position and a little bit about him. So Aaron Lashuga, he's our offensive center. Uh, you know Aaron's a first year starter for us. He's uh, he's a junior. Uh, about 6'3", uh, 285 pounds. He's a, he's a good kid, long long arms, long legs, long levers. Uh, you know, he's aggressive. He, he, he's very good at chop blocking. Uh, he's, he's smart. He's, he's good with his offensive line as far as communication and, and lining them out on the, on, the, on the line of scrimmage if need be. So, uh, you know, Aaron brings a level head to the game and, and a lot of heart. Now, Aaron, as a center, first-year starter and a junior, what kind of pressure does that put on you to make sure each play starts correctly? Just getting the ball to the quarterback first thing first and then continue to block and whatever comes next, finding linebackers or other guys upfield. You know, there's a lot of pressure in that job, as you mentioned. Make, first of all, make sure the quarterback gets the ball and then make sure that you're uh, paying attention to what's happening in front of you. Uh, what kind of challenge does that present in terms of just being aware, being focused, and at the same time being fired up and ready to spring? I think it's just being able to multitask mainly and staying mentally ready for that moment and those opportunities when they come. Coach, talk a little bit about uh, Aaron's mental alertness and adjusting to those things that he sees because the center gets to see everything the defense is lining up for. Well, you know, as far as what we do, we run the ball a lot. So he has to communicate whether, uh, you know, on our schemes, depending on what the play is, he has to he has to declare whether we, we carry out that scheme at times, whether he calls it off or, or whether he kills it. And, uh, you know, he has to be aware of, um, you know, blitzing linebackers and things of that nature. And our quarterback has to be on the same key with him, on the same page with him. So we, we don't we don't have the same snap count every every single play. So the defense can't tag off on us. So he's got a lot on his plate. But like I said, he's, he's level-headed. He's even killed. And, um, you know, that's, that's the best thing you can half for a center. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for spending time with us today. Good luck, and we hope you get a win on Friday. Thank you. We'll be back with more right after this. Hi, I'm Chris Jewell, host of High Plains Today, a 30-minute news and information program that airs at noon weekdays right here on TV23. Hey, do you think you have an idea for something that would make a great segment? Somebody that would make a great interview? What about a community event that needs highlighting? Let us know. Here at the station, email us, news at kdgltv.com. Welcome to the Friday Gridiron Preview. 
This week's show is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Boss Ford, proudly serving Liberal and the surrounding area for 35 years. Come visit their newly remodeled showroom and schedule a test drive today. Keating Tractor and Equipment. See MyGreenToy.com for great Christmas and gift ideas. Price and Sons Funeral Home. Our family, proudly serving your family for over 50 years in western Kansas. Flooring America and Furniture Outlet, 15 East Parkway in Liberal, where quality costs less. Come discuss your project with one of their professionals today. And the Heritage Real Estate Group in Liberal, people you know and trust, professionals you can depend on. And welcome back. I'm joined by Chris Jewell. Chris, uh, we visited with Brian Hill from Garden City. We visited with Caleb Klein and players from Liberal. And uh, now it's time for us to take our best guesses at what we expect to see on the field. Well, I think, you know, with Garden City, you've got a dual threat quarterback up there in Jesse Nunez. And, I mean, throw the ball, run the ball. He's kind of an all-around guy. Where Liberal, you know, young team Liberal, even in their offensive and defensive lines, Garden City, not so much. So we're going to see what happens, you know, as younger meets more experienced. Well, you know, it's interesting, too, because uh, people often forget because of the history between Liberal and Garden that it's Garden City 6A versus Liberal 5A and uh, Garden City, one of the larger 6As versus Liberal, kind of the middle of the road 5A. And so Coach Klein said that uh, when they're 6A, they get more players out. Uh, ironically, though, we heard Coach Hill talk about four year starters. So uh, interesting to see how that maturity level plus playing on the bigger stages is going to make a difference. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of a speed game or passing game Garden City puts puts together for Friday and then see what happens as to how Liberals defense can step up and stop them. I think that's going to be the biggest key is Liberals going to have to step up and really start to stop Garden City to make any headway for their offense. And the key, uh, off, obviously, as we saw uh, against Wichita North, as we saw against Guyman, as we've seen against other teams, uh, the secondary for Liberals is going to have to be stingy. They're going to have to take anything away that Nunez tries to throw. The, the problem with the dual threat quarterback is if you can eliminate one of those threats, then he becomes predictable. Well, yeah, and the other thing with with a with a dual threat quarterback like that, you, you know, you're going to he's been run, run, run. So you're going to the secondary is going to start cheating up, and then all of a sudden, what happens? Somebody sneaks behind you throws the ball, and away they go. So they've got to keep an eye on that, too. Well, and, and keep in mind that the normal play for Garden City is a five-yard across the middle. They do that to you. And again, in addition to the run, that pulls even the secondary up, and then they dump one for the long throw. So uh, certainly the uh, the interplay between pass and run, which Garden City does about evenly, is going to make a difference. But, but you know, I, you have to keep in mind that Liberal finds ways to get things done. They're tough. They're hungry. They believe they can win. They're they're on a winning season this year, and they want to keep those ways going. Yeah, they're moving. They're moving right along. I mean, they've got some wins under their belt this year, unlike the last couple of years. So you're right. They're ready to go. All right. Well, one thing is for sure. We'll have to wait and see tonight. Remember, you can watch this episode and all previous episodes of the Friday Gridiron Preview on our Facebook page at KDGL TV. Thanks for tuning into this week's edition of Friday Gridiron Preview. Be sure to visit and thank the sponsors that helped make this show possible. Boss Ford, proudly serving Liberal and the surrounding area for 35 years. Come visit their newly remodeled showroom and schedule a test drive today. Keating Tractor and Equipment, see MyGreenToy.com for great Christmas and gift ideas. Price and Sons Funeral Home, our family proudly serving your family for over 50 years in western Kansas. Flooring America and Furniture Outlet, 15 East Parkway, Liberal, where quality costs less. Come discuss your project with one of their professionals today. And the Heritage Real Estate Group in Liberal, people you know and trust, professionals you can depend on.